Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, I'm going to show you how to grant all the permissions to a user in MariaDB. So think about like a root permissions. So if you would like to provide on all the databases uh, and also grant, uh, uh, so the user can grant permissions to other users. So that's what I'm talking about. So let's go to the Linux uh, and then uh, we will go to the MariaDB. Here, I'm going to connect to the MariaDB by using my root uh, user. So let's provide the password. okay looks good now we are connected to MariaDB and uh, to create uh, the user with the, all the permissions first of all we need to create a user so to see the existing users we can select start from my sql dot user and uh, it's going to return us a lot of uh, tables and uh, let me do one thing uh, my sql here and then sorry right here and uh, that's the system database and i'm going to select only host and user columns from this uh, table and you can see that right now i have only root uh, user so i would like to create a user which uh, uh, with the name amir so i will say create user and then that's our syntax we have to put in single quotes uh, the name of the user and then uh, we have to say at the rate and uh, the host so in this case uh, it is local host and uh, identified by and provide the password so i'm going to provide password one two three and uh, hit enter so now the user is created if you want to take a look you can take a look Ahmed is created but right now it does not have a whole lot of permissions so it, it really can it can connect to the MariaDB but it cannot see all the databases and everything so uh, let's say, let me exit from here and uh, we connect by using uh, user Amir and uh, my SP and password one two three now you if you would like to see all the databases uh, with this uh, user you will see only one database uh, so it, it can do much uh, we would like to provide all the permissions to this uh, user account uh, name a mirror so I'm gonna exit from here because uh, we have to log in back with the root so we can provide the permissions uh, and uh, password okay now to grant uh, all the permissions uh, what we have to do we have to say grant all and uh, it will grant all the permissions except uh, uh, itself like uh, uh, with it cannot the user cannot grant uh, the permissions uh, so grant all will let you do insert update delete uh, uh, select the database create the databases uh, but uh, the user will not have uh, the grant permission so it will not be able to uh, promote the grant uh, to other users uh, so uh, we, this uh, uh, grant all then we have to say on and then have we have to say asterisk dot asterisk because we would like to on everything uh, that's where asterisk dot asterisk plays uh, so we would like to everything to and we have to provide the user account so in this case is Amir at the rate uh, localhost and now if we, if, if we would like uh, this user to grant permission to other users uh, so we can say with the uh, uh, grant option so if we will uh, do this part uh, then uh, this user will be able to provide uh, the permissions to other people so okay fine we'll do that and now this user is all set uh, I'm gonna exit from here and uh, let's log in uh, with the user Amir and uh, dash P and uh, provide the password okay now if I say show databases uh, now I should see all the databases uh, so you can see that I can see all the system databases and user database itself uh, now if I would like to create a user create user TB uh, and I have logged in by using the user account Amir so let's see if we can create a, a user uh, with the uh, with the permissions we have so we have all the permissions uh, and also we have the grant uh, permission as well uh. so if i will say we identified five by and uh, i'm going to say pass one two three and uh, one row affected so 
once th this user is pretty much going to work exactly like your root uh, it will uh, have all the permissions to drop database create database or create a new database uh, so now um, that's pretty much it so you have to remember two things first of all you have to create the user and uh, the syntax is very easy create user uh, and uh, you, then um, you have to say single quotes uh, username at the rate uh, single quote host uh, and identify by password and the uh, to grant the permissions uh, so you have to say grant all so it will grant all the permissions on asterisk dot asterisk all the objects uh, to the uh, user account and uh, if you would like uh, that user to promote uh, uh, or uh, give permissions to other what it has uh, on all the objects so you will say with grant option um, otherwise uh, it will not be able to give permission to any other users it will have all the permission for himself or herself but it will not be able to provide permission so if i especially in the dbs uh, we, we need these permissions because uh, once you create our user we would like to create uh, other users and give them permissions on different objects uh, so that's important for the, as a dba when you work uh, thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video